you remember from last week, tore out a lot of old wiring as I was working on the primary 12 volt system, installed a new battery bank, and rebuilt all that wiring. Now this week we've got to move on to some new work. With that task basically completed, the next thing I wanted to do was to take my old batteries, use them to construct a new battery bank on the starboard side of the boat. These are four lead acid flooded batteries that I had before. I used three of them as a house and the fourth as a start battery. So the first thing I did was get them moved onto the boat and then get them into the engine room. Here you see battery sitting on top of a 2x4 as I get ready to slide it over the top of the engine and onto the shelf on the far side. Sorry about the bad picture here, but the light was, wasn't too great. With the batteries moved onto the shelf, I then used battery strap system, which you see here, one for each battery. After the straps were secured to the shelf, I then placed the battery box on top of the strap and the batteries inside of that box is what you see here. With the battery secure and the wiring complete, the next thing I wanted to do was install an old battery monitor that I had before I got my new Blue Seas system. This is kind of a nifty little battery monitor as you see here. It will track your voltage in, voltage out, your amps, and your capacity of your battery. One of the nifty little things about this battery monitoring system here is you can either hardwire it to the shunt or it will work Bluetooth. I'd like to take a break here at the channel from all the action and ask you if you enjoy what you see here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. We'd really appreciate it. Also, give us a thumbs up. The positive feedback is always enjoyed. I wanted to give a quick update here on the Raspberry Pi navigation computer that I have mounted over in the nav station. On a recent trip to uh, DC, I stopped in at Micro Center and they had this little uh, plastic uh, thing for the Raspberry Pi that you mount the computer in and also a little 7 inch touch screen as you see here. After looking at it, I decided I could use it to mount in the nav station using the large flat side up against the, the uh, back wall. So here you see some screenshots of the Raspberry Pi along with the SSD and of course the AIS hat here with uh, some cutouts for the antenna reception and the fan there on top. Now here you can see the Raspberry Pi mounted in its final position in the nav station. I've had some uh, questions about exactly how fast they are, so let's go ahead and watch one boot up in real time. Now as the Raspberry Pi boots up, the first thing you see is this uh, splash screen. Keep a couple things in mind as you see the text scrolling by here and the computer booting up. This is a single board computer. It's not necessarily anywhere as fast as your desktop and it's running off an SSD so it's slightly slower because the system is designed uh, to run off an SD card but the SSD gives you a lot more stability and a lot more memory space for charts and whatnot so here we see the desktop that comes up then this will go through a little booting sequence and then we're going to go ahead and end up and show you um, Open CPN actually running on it here at the very end.
genius finally we see the chart come up there with the boat position just to prove that you can run open cpn off a of raspberry pi thanks for stopping in this week we really appreciate it and as always give us a thumbs up and hit that subscription button so you get all the updates as they come in in the future thanks a lot